Hello and welcome to my fourth video of my portal frame series. In this video, I will show you how to draw in bracings and the connections for your bracings. In the next video series, I'll show you how to draw in and detail steel connections. More specifically, I will show you how to detail all the connections that are done in this drawing, like this apex haunch and so on. So without further ado, let's get started. So to, so to draw our bracing, we need to go and import a suitable member. To do this, we just need to go to the Insert tab and click on Load Family. Scroll down and find a folder named Structural Framing. And you should see a folder named Steel. Double click on that. But for this video, I will use the British Standard uh, member and then I will choose the PFC option which is a parallel flange channel which is essentially also known as a C channel so click open you might see all these numbers here and I'll show you how, what they mean and how to identify which member that you're using so you can see there are two different members here but they have the same uh, number at the front this number at the front which is 150 is actually the height of that member so apparently there are two members here with the same height but the next few numbers they are not the same anymore the next number 75 is actually the width of this specific member so for this member it's 75 millimeters wide so this one is 90 millimeters wide and the last number at the end represents the mass per unit length of this member which is 18 kilograms per meter whereas this one has 24 kilograms per meter as a mass per unit length measurement so we move along the rows you can see that the width is 7.5 centimeters which is 75 millimeters. The height is 15 centimeters, which is 150 millimeters. And if we scroll more to the right, you will see that the nominal weight or the mass per unit length is, a, is almost the same as uh, 18 kilograms per meter, 17.9, which is close. Same for this one over here. So for this drawing file, I will use this. PFC 150 by 75 by 18. We'll click OK. So to draw our bracing, we need to be in a plan view. It's recommended. And then let's go to the structure tab. And in the structure tab, you should find a button called brace. So click on that once. Before you begin drawing, you should check your start and end level. So for this drawing, it should start at level 0 and end at level 1. And I'm already using a PFC over here already, so that's the correct member. So let's begin drawing our bracing. So I will start from the middle of this column here, drag it down. Go we'll by here. Then I'll hit escape twice. And you can see that this uh, bracing member is slightly uh, off-center in the sense that I would like to have this right edge on the grid line instead of where it is right now. So to move this right edge to the left, you can use the Y offset tool. So you just need to select this right edge and drag it to the left. And it has already moved the right edge to the left. So now this right edge here is lying on the grid line. So let's repeat the same process again. Check the start level, make sure it's level zero and end level should be at level one. And you can start anywhere from here. Drag it all the way up here. And use the Y offset tool 
shift this edge more to the right. So now if we go to the 3D view, now see that bracings are not uh, sticking into each other like earlier. So if I press Ctrl Z, you'll see that there's a problem here. One bracing is inside another, which is not right. If I press Ctrl Y and redo it, it's in the correct position now. Let's check the bracing from a side view. And you can see that there's something wrong over here already. You can see that this bracing shouldn't be stuck up in the beam over here. So to fix this problem, I'll just select these two bracings and then scroll down. And you can find an end attachment elevation option here. So I will change this to about 3.7 meters. You can see that the ends have gone down already in terms of their uh, connection height. Yeah, their, their attachment elevation. And you can see that the base is still in the right position. So now we can proceed with drawing in our connections. For that, we need to import uh, two additional set of connections. So to import connections, again, just click on this arrow. A pop-up will appear, and the connections that we need are a direct bolt. Go and bolt the two bracings at the middle over here. And we'll need a gusset plate. Be very careful not to use the wrong one. There are two that are named similarly. We're going to use this one here, the gusset plate at one diagonal, and not this one here, which is the gusset plate that has a triangular shape. So don't use this one for this uh, example. Use this one instead. Click OK. And again, just like my previous video, I will draw in the steel connections. I'll select this bracing and this column and hit enter. And there you go, that's your bracing connection to the column. Now I'll repeat the process for the other parts. Then I'll draw in the direct bolt in the middle, selecting these two bracings. Enter once, and you can see one bolt is there. So, in the next video series, as I've mentioned before, in the start of this video, I will show you how to go and detail these uh, connections, and how to add more bolts or position the bolts uh, precisely in a different uh, location. How to adjust the sizings of these plates. So for this video we've already covered how to draw in bracings and the respective connections for bracings. If you do like this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you want to keep uh, watching more Revit tutorial videos do consider subscribing to my channel and as always stay safe and hope you're doing well and until next time goodbye.